Hi, it's awesome d -bag. Bag Bye. <laughs> Hello, I'm packing. Well, actually, I'm almost done packing. Oh. For VidCon Australia, I roll all my clothes because uh, you get less creases, and I honestly think it's more space efficient. So, yeah. <laughs> God damn. God damn. God damn. God damn. God damn. The light doesn't. God damn. Oh, hold on. Thank you, Office Works. Woo! You can see it now. Oh my actual god, though. It looks even nicer with the fucking lights on. What? What is this? What? <gasps> That's where I poop. So basically, I'm here, I'm in the hotel, I've just checked in, I, I haven't even unpacked, I have sweaty armpits, I need to pee, so I will be doing that, that's number one on my agenda. Eee, I'm ready as fuck, fucking ready, if I can take how ready I am, right to the dick. So I don't, I literally know no one who's gonna be at this VidCon, like I know of some of the other guests that are here, but I'm not on their level, I'm not... I'm not Tyler Oakley, who I've already seen. So yeah, as I was saying, I don't know, I don't know anyone who's gonna be here. Um, I don't, I don't know any of the people who aren't guests either, so I'm literally just going it alone. And uh, we're gonna see how that works as I leave. Actually, now fuck it. This is edgy as fuck. <laughs> Dano aka D-Bag. <laughs> that was a big moment. <laughs> big moment for a little person. <laughs> Sandra. Whitney King. CJ. I, I, who are you? I, I, I'm 90% um, sure I know now. who that was. <laughs> <laughs> You're a terrible friend. I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gonna make it to tomorrow. This is the second time I've been laying on the floor <laughs> since I got to VidCon. I got brought chicken nuggets. <laughs> Who are you lovely sweet people? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. The fam's all here. <laughs> <laughs> the squad's together. I'm Charlotte. <laughs> yes. And you brought me chicken nuggets. Bless. You can't see, but I'm squatting and blessing. There you go, you're my mirror. I'm Erin and I, I don't live here. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm Isabella. This is my very first gifted nugget. This is my gift, first gifted food item ever, actually. Wow, I'm so proud of you. I made it. This is really cold. <laughs> It's colder on the inside than it is on the outside. How does that oh make sense? <laughs> bag. Um, you can follow me on Abby Blue on Instagram and on YouTube. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I'm linked in the description as well. Yeah, you are. You definitely are. An iconic yeah. moment. Shut up, Caitlin. Wow, that's way too close to another word. Nuggets. I'm being proposed to. <laughs> I'm not kneeling down. It's not happening. That's not where you put it. <laughs> I don't care. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's I'm edgy. <laughs> Obviously, the answer is yes. Obviously, how could I say no? You spoil me. <laughs> Update on just how good um, I am at being a YouTuber and networking. Uh, my very first interaction with any other guest at VidCon uh, basically involved me saying that I would have to fight someone to the death because their suitcase was similar to mine, and then I told them my mum bought it for me. <laughs> that was my first interaction with another guest at VidCon. Oh! Second interaction uh, was me just staring at Tyler Oakley from a distance. So yeah, that's where I'm standing at the moment. I'm gonna go to uh, some Facebook Instagram party, which will hopefully have more influences for me to feel influenced by and then act like an idiot. I am the youngest here. You are. And I can't drink. Oh no. So it's so funny because everyone's like, do you want to drink? I'm like, I'm still 17. Oh my god, I'm here with Georgia Production. Georgia. So we're at an, an Instagram Facebook party. Yep. Check it out. I'll do a panning sweep in a second. Yes, crushing it. Uh, Georgia can't drink because she's a young girl. I'm 17. Georgian production. <laughs> also, we're gonna go to another party in a bit that is hosted by YouTube. Hosted by YouTube. So excited. But this party was great. Thank you so much, Instagram and I Facebook. Know, the food. The food. Look at this. Just, look, just. It's not focused, but just look. 
Just look. Just look. Look. There we go. Isn't that cool? Isn't that great? It's wonderful. All right. We're leaving now. You're like squatting. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just leaving the Instagram Facebook party. We're gonna go to the YouTube party. I got some swag. Um, what, what is my life now? What is happening? Where are we going? How do I get in here? Oh, that's the toilet. <laughs> I had a lot of free I'll drinks. You anyway. So, aesthetics. Uh, yeah. Oh! See everything now. <laughs> oh, it's oh. 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 Right in oh yeah. It's really wet. Yes, we entertain them. I can't. I don't know how. I'll just, right, I'll just zoom in on Grace. So I got a gift from YouTube apparently, um, so that's nice. Let's have a look <laughs> what's inside. <laughs> My voice is gone. It says, welcome to Australia's first ever VidCon. We've curated the best of Melbourne, giving you a flavor of this coffee loving, art appreciating, fashionable, edgy, and culturally diverse city. Those are my jam. Uh, what's in this box? Uh, let's find out. This is like all of Melbourne in the box. Oh my god, help what me, help me. This? It must be like coffee art. Oh my, I hope it's box. coffee. I'm gonna take. <gasps> oh my oh, god. Oh my god. Oh. What the fuck? So first off, we have Tim Tams, an Australian classic. What is this? Um, body lotion. Bye, thank you. It's like one of my faves. Yeah. Oh my god. Go. Bam. Be smooth. A Melbourne tote bag. Boy. Boy, YouTube swag. Guess what? You'll be naked in one minute. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm wearing like a play suit, man. Like, this is hard to like. <laughs> oh, no way. And then you got that. You're oh my god. An ace. What was it? The Aesop jet set. Let's have a look. That's like. Travels. Dude. Toiletries done. 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 Give a little lip and talk dirty, babe. Lip scrub. Kill me. I've been wanting a lip scrub I for love, ages. So we got my girls here. Give yourself a promo. Okay, I'm at Tonya Lives um, on all social media. And I'm very confusing, so just follow me on YouTube because <laughs> this is where you're seeing it. Alright, make me over Katie. Yeah? Yeah. Really <laughs> So I've just been in here for like the past half hour and forgot to film anything, so here it is. This is Facebook, Instagram, chill out and do a fun time lounge. Oh my god, get that promo. Oh my god, get that promo. I just did that like five minutes ago, but I forgot to film it, so whoops. <laughs> I love this! Whoa! <laughs> Fun. You tend to catastrophize things in your own mind yes. and dwell on them and go over again. But when you when you actually talk about it and put it out there, it, 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 it is still terrible and the feelings, as you said, they're real. But the more that you express that, you actually talk through that with someone who's close to you and that supports your journey, you can recognize a lot easier how to move past it. Yeah, and you realize that it really, at the end of the day, it's not going to have that much of an impact on your life. Yeah. Because it's just, it is just words on the screen and they do feel very, very real, but at the end of the day, that's all they are. And when you can boil it down to that, it's a lot easier to move past. Because you go, it's just someone having a go, having a bad day, just getting their own stuff out, and it just so happens to be on me. And I think on that as well, I mean, there is some level of empathy that you do need to deploy to the situation as well, because like, you do put yourself in that person's shoes. Happy people don't make hate comments. That's, yes. that's just what it is. Yes. So you've got to put yourself in the shoes of that person and recognize, okay, yeah, that's disgusting and disgraceful what they're saying, but why are they saying that? <laughs> I don't have context, well, but this is happening, so... Um, <laughs> you're brilliant! I love you! I 
What? The fuck? <laughs> It just happened. You got chips? What happened? Did someone give me cookies? I got given cookies and everybody was so lovely and I signed so much and got so many selfies and I'm dying. I It's 846. So it's Sunday, which is actually the last day of VidCon, which is fucking insane because I feel like I've been here for an entire week because it's been so intense. But at the same time, it's been so much fun that I literally feel like I just got here. I know that makes no sense. Anyway, today's the last day. I'm actually like super sad about it, but it's gonna be fucking amazing. I've got two panels today. I've got the out online panel and I've got the oversharing panel and I'm on a panel with like some really fucking kill people. Damn! Yesterday I was on a panel called Don't Feed the Trolls and it was all about like ignoring hate online and how you deal with it and how you move past it and all of that. And I gave this really serious answer to someone who was asking me a question and then when I finished answering because I felt like the tone was way too serious. When I finished answering the question I just went really close to the microphone and went Fidgy Fidge bitch! Fidgy Fidge bitch! I was the original music league in 2007. So you're welcome, Kathy. You and Ricky Dillon. Are you ready? Uh-huh. How ready? So you're ready, like, oh my God. 10 out of 10. I'm nervous. Gosh. I'm really nervous. But Same. this is one I've been, this is the most, one I've been most excited about Same. the whole time. Same. And it's my last one, so let's go out with a bang. Yes, yes Sam. We're yes. about to do the out online panel on the community main stage. Oh, and I'm dying. Are you tired again? Mm -hmm. Huh? Are you tired again? No, 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 I'm not tired. Oh, I think like, I'm, okay. I'm going through it. Out online, bitches. Out online. Let's do it. Oh my god, AJ, what? <laughs> Blast! I love you all! We just did our out online panel and whoop, jump over some lights. It was beautiful, I was living for it. Oh my god. Thanks for having a good time. It was so good. No, no, How are you feeling? Yeah, I mean, like, feel my heart. Oh, it's still going? I'm not even filming. Fuck. Hi, VidCon. Hi. We took a group photo. Fidgy fidge, bitch. <laughs> so it is currently um, around 2.30 a.m. Sunday night. Last night at VidCon. Not even the night anymore. It is the morning after VidCon. And I don't want to go to bed because that's me admitting that VidCon is done. That is me ending my VidCon Australia experience and I'm not fucking ready. I literally just want this to be my life. Like, VidCon every day. Although, quite obviously, if it was my life, I would never have a voice. Honestly, everyone I met was actually just amazing. And I mean, it makes sense. We're all sharing the same passion we all just want to make. Make crap that entertains people most of the time and uh, uh, dying and I'm gonna go to bed. Cause I have a flight in the morning and I have, oh, I have to get up in like four hours for it. So I'm going to bed. Bless. Bah. So I've just finished packing my shit and getting ready to go because basically my car leaves at 8. It is currently 7.35 and I- Whoa! 7.35! And I need to go check out of the hotel so I'm just about to grab myself, go down to the lobby and check out. But huge thank you to VidCon for inviting me. I had the best time and you know I'd love to come again so... <laughs> yeah, but if you don't invite me I will, I will pay for a ticket. I will just pay to come next time, so that's okay. Also, a huge thank you to the Pan Pacific. This hotel was amazing, and the convention center is amazing, and my room was amazing, and I'm really sorry about the state of the toilet right now. 
but I have to go. And you didn't give me a toilet brush, so like, what am I meant to do, mate? What am I meant to do? Anyway, that's pretty much, I better go so I don't, you know, get left in Melbourne for the rest of my life, because I forgot there was a suitcase there. Also, I literally could not afford to get home if I tried, so I'm gonna go catch um, a good old van, and then a bus, and then a train, and then maybe another train, and then another bus.